Hello. Uh, yeah, today we're gonna do some uh, in paint in in painting using AI. So, uh, uh, yeah, let's go back to hugging face dot hugging face dot co, the home of the AI community. And then you want to go into spaces, and here this is where you search the spaces. So you're going to search for in painting, in painting, and uh, there's a bunch of them. I'm sure they are all the same, or at least the one with stable diffusion. So we're going to we're going to we're going to do stable diff diffusion in painting. So what I usually do is I take the one with the most arts, probably. The older one, maybe the better one, I guess. So let's do that one. So, and we're going to use a picture. So I went on to Pixabay and I look for a picture of a, of a bird. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I downloaded that. And for... Um, Stable diffusion in painting, I think the image has to be squared. So let's go into the GIMP and let's make let's make it let's make it uh, squared. Uh, Alright, so it looks like it's a kingfisher. So let's open it and I'm just gonna crop it to make it square. So uh, this is the rectangle, the rectangle sec tool and fixed aspect ratio 1 1. That should give me a square. Uh, yep. So, okay. Let's center it a little bit. Ah, it's good enough. Let's crop it and let's let's save it. So let's say it as the dot jpeg. Yep. Okay. All right. So we are done with that. So now let's go back to our stable diffusion. So what does it want? It wants the image and then you can draw a mask, meaning you can uh, draw what you want to remove. So in terms of 3D, um, I mean, imagine that you have a, an image and you have a depth map and you want to create like a a bunch of images on the left and a bunch of images on the right, synthetic images. Uh, like if you use Stereo Photo Maker, you're probably going to get images that are not so great. You're going to see some ghosting of some sort. So you can just fit them into here and just draw on what you don't like. Okay. So let's do that. So let's Okay, so that's my square image, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna draw a mask. So, uh, so let's let's uh, let's let's do some. Let's just do stuff. Let's do like, and here you can change the size. I think so. You can make it smaller. So let's do some stuff to the beak. Uh, let's get rid of this. So these are the areas I don't like, and I want to see what the in-painting is going to look like. I don't like this. I don't like that. Let's do that, see what happens, and then we can go a little bit crazier. And here you can even put a prompt. You can even type what to mask. Oh, that's nice. And you can even prompt. Wow. Okay. So let's run. Let's see what happens. Doesn't take long. 
Okay. So you reconstru reconstructed the beak. Yeah. Uh, here, something a little bit strange. Otherwise, very good. Yeah, very good. So he, he removed all the black parts and he was able to reconstruct it, the belt pretty, pretty nicely. So let's do something more uh, intense. Uh, oh, okay. Let's let's me reload. Okay. So let's do let's try to do something crazy. Let's let's remove the whole beak. Uh let's remove uh like a bigger portion of the body. Let's remove I mean it may not work, I don't know. Alright, let's try that, see what happens. That may be too much. Yeah, that might have been too much. Let's rerun it just to make sure. Yeah, it's probably too much. So let's let's try to be less intense. Let's see what happens if you remove the beak. Just curious. Okay, so I removed the beak. Let's see what happens. Wow, so he's able to reconstruct the beak. I mean, not perfectly, but it's not bad. Okay, let's do something else. Uh, let's remove a good chunk of the body. Okay, let's try that one. I mean, you, you have to admit that it's a pretty easy Model. I mean, it's just one one bird in a blurry background. Okay, and it's uh, you know, yeah, it's nice. What else can I do? Let's remove like the whole thing here. Okay, let's remove all that stuff. Did it remove everything? Come on. Okay, so the whole thing has been removed. So let's run that. Ah, do it. Let's try again, just to make sure. Can do it. Okay. Uh, what else can I do? Let's try. What happens if you just go through the body like that? That's good. I'm gonna do one last one. I want to go like a, uh, follow the boundary. Something like that. What happens then? Okay. Let's see what happens. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I mean, if I was really thorough, I should probably do another one, another 
picture and try it. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm going to do that. Yeah, give me uh, one second and I'll find another one and we'll do the same thing and see what happens. Okay, I'm back. So here is the picture I found. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's not the greatest picture, but okay. Let's do some... I'm just gonna, yeah, it's not the greatest, I gotta say, eh, let's run anyway. Yeah, 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 it's maybe a little problem with the beard, strange. Okay, let's try to uh, go through one eye, see what happens. Yeah, nostril, interesting. The eye is not bad actually, I mean, considering. Okay, let's do something else, a little bit wilder. Let's get rid of the eyes. See what happens. Wow, that eye is pretty good actually. Mm, this one, not so good, it's still funny. Anyway, I think I'm going to stop here. I mean, it kind of works. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. So this is a stable, stable dif diffusion multi in painting. Oh yeah, okay. Multi because you have different ways to in paint. Okay, so it's basically stable diffusion in painting. All right, so I'm going to stop here. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, please uh, like, comment, subscribe. And I will make more videos, I'm sure. So I see you around. Bye.